Hello everyone. In today's video, I'll demonstrate an important inorganic chemistry practical that is preparation of cuprous chloride. And this preparation method is very important one for BSc chemistry practicals. In cuprous chloride, copper is in plus one oxidation state. And let us see the chemicals required for this preparation method. Copper sulfate 5 grams, copper turning 6 grams, sodium chloride 3 grams, hydrochloric acid 15 ml, sodium sulfide 2.5 grams and distilled water 200 ml. And you can add double concentration of these chemicals in order to get more yield. Now let us see this preparation method in our laboratory. Now you can observe all the required chemicals which are weighed by using electrical weighing machine. Copper turnings 6 grams and copper sulfate 5 grams, sodium sulfide 2.5 grams, concentrated sulfur uh, hydrochloric acid 15 ml, sodium chloride 3 grams. So now we are adding all these chemicals into the round bottom flask. Firstly, we are adding copper sulfate into the RBF slowly and after that we are adding copper turnings. Actually copper turnings are very light in weight here. In many bottles you can observe thick pieces of copper turnings also. So 6 grams of copper turnings we are adding very slowly into the round bottom flask. After that, we need to add uh, sodium chloride Next we are adding sodium chloride into the same reaction mixture And next we are adding 15 ml of hydrochloric acid we are measuring 15 ml by using a measuring jar. This hydrochloric acid helps for uh, mixing of all the reactants in the reaction mixture. We just added 15 ml into the container. And next uh, we are adding a porcelain piece into the reaction mixture. This porcelain piece uh, helps for smooth boiling and stops the bumping then we are mixing all contents properly and next we are heating them on a Bunsen burner by keeping a wire gaze and you must see it changes its color to a uh, straw yellow color so beginning it is bluish green next it is changing to straw yellow after that you can stop boiling and now meanwhile we are making a sodium sulfide solution a clear solution of sodium sulfide should be prepared before mixing a reaction mixture into this and we are making a clear solution by stirring with a glass rod next we are adding the reaction mixture into this uh, sodium sulfide solution you can see the formation of white color precipitate in the container of sodium sulfide and this precipitate slowly settles down if you are keeping it aside and next filter this uh, precipitate through filter paper by using funnel and after filtration you can observe there is a formation of white colored cuprous chloride and this must be dried and weighed to write yield in your report now let us see the representation of equations for this preparation process. Firstly, copper sulfate reacts with sodium chloride to form copper chloride and sodium sulfate. And this copper chloride on reaction with copper turnings forms cuprous chloride precipitate. Cuprous chloride on reaction with hydrochloric acid forms a compound which consists of cuprous chloride ions. And the reaction can proceed backward by adding water. So on the addition of water, there is a formation of cuprous chloride in the reaction mixture. Now let us see the uses or applications of this cuprous chloride. It is used as an antibacterial agent. 
means it is having antibacterial properties so it can be applied on wounds or antibacterial coatings it is an intermediate in the production of many pharmaceuticals so means we can prepare drugs or medicines from this intermediate it is used in the photography means it is used as a sensitizing agent in the photographic emulsions it is also used as a fungicide and pesticide fungicide means which can acts against fungal diseases in crops wheat barley uh, plants and it is also used for used as a pesticide to control pest in the agricultural fields it is also used as a catalyst for the preparation of vinyl chloride and many chlorinating compounds so uh, so that it is very important to prepare cuprous chloride because it is having many medicinal properties and agricultural properties so hope this video is helpful to you thank you so much for watching this video